right, thank you, Howard. And now we're going to go over to the other set as Rich Gould has our athlete in the spotlight. That's right. In the spotlight this week, we have a young man from Alton Marquette High School, Craig Hendrick. He is a place kicker, a punter, credentials that would look good on an NFL roster. This young man puts the foot into it, folks. Here's a young man with some future, Craig Hendrick, the finest high school kicker in the land, according to a number of national publications, is in the spotlight this week. Craig has helped Alton Marquette to an 8-0 record. They're ranked third in Illinois Class 3A. And against Pittsfield, Illinois, just nine days ago, Craig set a new state record with his 25th field goal. He had field goals of 45, 48, and 50 yards in that game as Marquette won 42 to nothing. And let's not overshadow his punting. Craig's average is nearly 45 yards with a hang time of about 4.8 seconds. He is being recruited by nearly every major college in the country. Let's welcome Craig Hendrick, this week's Post-Dispatch KPLR Spotlight Athlete of the Week. Craig is here, so is his coach from Alton Marquette, Coach John Waters. Craig, let's start with you. It must be very nice. I mean, everybody's recruiting you. Any, any clue where you're going to go to school? I've limited my choice mostly to the Division one schools in the Midwest, with a few exceptions on the West Coast. Yeah, well, that's something. Um, kicking is tough. I know that, but you've uh, you've learned from a very good teacher, right? Didn't your dad help you out a lot? Yeah, seems like every time I wanted to go out, my dad was waiting to go out. He's he's the one that really motivates motivates me a lot. Yeah. How about uh, any other sports? You play any other sports? Played baseball for four years. I'm first baseman, and I enjoy it very much. Sure, that's a lot of fun, isn't it? Yes, Let's it get is. Coach in here. It's nice to have this young man to rely on, right? If you if you need a long boot to win a game. Yeah, he's uh, he's been an integral part of our team, and uh, uh, teams are made up of uh, just not offensive defense, but good kicking teams. Good teams are, and uh, we know that once we get inside the 50-yard line, we don't usually punt. We go for three points, yeah. and uh, it's a good weapon. And I know one more that he wants. He wants that 57-yarder, doesn't he? <laughs> yeah, he wants the state record pretty bad, and uh, uh, but he wants the team to do well first. And if he gets that in the in the along the way, then uh, uh, that'll be perfect. All right, Craig, we got a plaque for you here, the St. Louis Post Dispatch Spotlight Athlete of the Week. You take this with our compliments. We're glad you could stop by. Thank you very much. These days came and went like a river rolling by These days they remind me how time really flies I'm looking back on the journey and all that I've been through What it means to dream and have a dream come true These days For every win and every loss For all I gain what it cost for the chances I've been given I'm amazed for the broken path to glory and the people in my story and the memories we made along the way for our life held in store I am thankful for these days The seasons come and go. And these days, I'm remembering the heroes I have known. And the friendships forged in the best and the worst of times that I still have tomorrow on the other side of these days. For every win and every loss, for all I gained and what it cost, for the chance. And the memories we made along the way For our life holds in store I am thankful for these days Every win and every loss For all I gained and what it cost For 
Oh, the chances I've been given, I'm amazed, yeah. For the broken path to glory, and the people in my story, and the memories we made along the way. For all life holds in store, and all that came before, I am thankful for these days. Mike Keith, joined by former <laughs> Titans punter Craig Hentrick. That's that, hard to believe. It doesn't sound right, does is it? Is it sinking in now? No, not yet. the most is probably the thing that I hated the most uh, before the game was which was that uneasy feeling that you get and the, the fear of the unknown what's going to happen am I going to have a factor in this game and it's uh, being on the road going out in front of rabid fans on the road like you know going to Oakland you know those feelings that you get in your stomach that 
never went away even after 17 years. I hated him while I played, but I'll probably miss him when I'm, when I'm done. Souvenirs of captured moments in the sun. The bits and pieces of the people we become. The ticket stop frozen in time. A dime a dozen, but one of a kind to me. Turning pages of life. What are you most proud of? Probably the longevity and probably the consistency. I think that over the years I've, I've always prided myself on being consistent, um, not doing what the coaches tell me and not being selfish and not trying to kick 60 yard punts every time, but trying to, to do what Coach Lowry and Coach Fisher want me to do, which is you know, hang the ball high and, and let our coverage team do their job. And, and I think that's probably what I'm most proud of. Thank you.